Holiday Main Street is the latest in the Lego Winter Village collection and it's, it's all right. One thousand five hundred fourteen pieces, set number one zero three zero eight. You know how this goes. Every year, Lego comes out with a winter set to add to your collection. This year, it's two businesses. You have the music store and the toy shop, as well as a train car, Christmas tree, and a little winter scene in the front. The six minifigures included in the set really bring some life to this otherwise oddly unlively set. And I'll start with the Christmas tree, which apparently every year Lego finds a new way to make a tree. This year is no different, love the building style on this, reminiscent of previous ones, but unique in its own way. All these custom decals you're seeing are stickers, including that Main Street sign and the insignia on the side of the mailbox, which we've seen in previous Winter Village sets. The train car is where things get really interesting, and this is the coolest part of the set, in my opinion. The building style to make this is different from anything I saw in the Winter Village train that came out a few years ago, and it's really substantial in size, so much so that if you happen to stand this thing vertically, it's as tall as that olive green building that we're going to take a look at in a second. So let's say instead of you getting three buildings, you're getting the two, and this build for the train car acts as what would otherwise be that third building. Which is cool, but it loses a little luster when you factor in that there's no train tracks for this to go on in the set. It is compatible with the power functions and the typical train system from LEGO City and the previous Winter Train, but again, nothing included here. So I love the look and the build for the train car itself. Moving on to the buildings, this is where things kind of lose the, the Christmas magic for me, because typically with the Winter Village sets, these buildings are, are pretty inspired. There's a play functionality, a certain level of charm that really makes them stand out. And you saw that with the Elf Clubhouse where you're making waffles, Santa goes down the chimney in the previous year's set, and then you have like the Gingerbread House, which is a cool looking building in of itself, where these two building facades are just general stores. This reminds me of the Hogsmeade set that came out in Harry Potter, except it's not Harry Potter. And knowing how much love and care goes into these Winter Village sets every year, you only get one shot at making the Winter Village set the coolest set of the year for those that collect them. And neither of these buildings have a, a build or play functionality or anything about them that makes them feel any more special than what you would see in LEGO City. It's cool that we get a music shop and a toy shop. We get a guitar, violin, there's a drum kit, also a little bunny, a, a little tower inside. There's cool little details here, but nothing super inspired. You may be anticipating me to complain that the facades of the buildings are very shallow and they don't make for very good play functionalities. And I would agree, but with the Winter Village sets, I feel like you're putting them up on your mantle or they're a part of a greater Winter Village display you have where you're not really playing with them as much. So I can excuse the fact that these buildings are only five studs deep for you to play with minifigures because you're, you're kind of going to look at them on a shelf anyways. I love the kitchen area above where the music shop is. That feels very homey. And as I'm panning over the set, you can see the little details that are here. But again, there's no special charm or play functionality that makes this set magical. But these Winter Village sets, because they release only one a year, they should feel really special, in my opinion. It does retail for $100, and 1,500 pieces is a good amount, but I don't, I can't really tell where the 1,500 pieces are. It doesn't feel like a 1,500 piece set. It, it does feel like a $100 set. You could have seen this at 120, given how Lego sets are priced today, but I'll say this does feel like a $100 set, so at least it's a good value on that front. But with any Lego set, I would have loved to have one or two more minifigures, or maybe even a snowman build, or just some extra little things to fill in the middle of this box art here. It seems very devoid of other little builds. Is Lego afraid to put those those one piece Christmas trees back in these sets? I, I don't really know. But if you had three or four of those, it would have added just that much more value. And listen, you know what you're getting when you pick up the set in October. You're getting an addition to your Winter Village line and you're probably gonna get all of them year after year and this is no exception. But if you're looking for something incredibly unique, the train car is really, really cool but I don't know if that justifies you spending $100 just for one train car. We may be overdue for a revamp of the Lego Christmas train like we saw a few years ago, but for me personally, this is just another Lego city set with some snow on the top. No other Christmas magic otherwise for this one this year. 
But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. My name's been Brian Saviano here for Beyond the Brick, and I'll see you again next time for more content. Bye.